Hello, welcome to my April wrap up, aka all the books I read in April. This month I read 10 books, which is my goal usually. The first book I read was Anne's House of Dreams by L.M. Montgomery. This is book 5 in the series, so I'm making my way through it. There's 9 total. This is about the early married life of Anne and Gilbert and their adventures and the new friends they meet. Something about these books is that I feel like it's very, um, I guess you could say character driven. Like every book you meet like 10 million characters. And I guess it doesn't bug me. Sometimes when there's too many characters, like, you know, it can get confusing. But I guess with these characters, they're also like heartwarming and like kind of nice I guess even when they're kind of crabby I guess um there's still like it just like a, it always has happy endings these books so I guess that's what I like about them <laughs> very cozy and heartwarming and I thought this was like another great entry in the series it's sentimental goodness book number two was The Paris Wife by Paula McLean um this is the fictionalized story of Ernest Hemingway's marriage to his first wife Hallie Richardson um, I read this about 10 years ago, like for the first time, and this time reading it for the second time, it was just as good, and it's probably my favorite like historical fiction book, because this is set in um, 1920s um, like Paris. I want to read this author's other book called Love and Ruin, which is about um, another wife of uh, Ernest Hemingway, <laughs> so we're keeping up with a theme there. Number three is G's and the Wedding Mill by Sebastian Fulks. Um, this is a continuation of the G's and Worcester series by P.G. Roadhouse, um, but it's by a different author. I think this book is just as good as the originals. I think the author captured the funny tone perfectly. Um, I laughed a lot reading this out loud too. This is about a man, Bertie, and his valet Jeeves. Um, and in this one they switch roles and Bertie tries to help one of his friends make up with his fiance while finding love of his own. But there's all kinds of like mix-ups along the way, of course. Book number four was Weetsy Bat by Francesca Leah Block. And this was like such a quirky book, like the writing I mean, it was very like dreamlike, like a fantasy world. It had beautiful descriptions of Hollywood included too. Um, but the plot like left wondering like what was about um basically there's this girl and her gay best friend and they just like hang out around LA and you know like grow up it's like a growing up kind of story I guess um and it was very like avant-garde <laughs> I never really read anything that like with that kind of writing style before where like it was just, I don't know very dreamy I don't really know how else to describe it <laughs> number five was The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory um, this was a reread, but it was just as good and intriguing and a page turner as it was before because this is quite long, but you really just fly through it. Or at least I did. <laughs> this is about the Boleyn sisters, Anne and Mary, and they're fighting over King Henry VIII. There's lots of royalty talk, court intrigue, etc. Plots, plotting, and revenge, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Killing. Um, this was, like, fun to read. It, um, I don't know, like how like um true to history it was but like it's just like I found like it was it just like fun dramatic you know and I like to read more from Philippa Gregory I was saying I tried the White Queen this is also a movie this is the movie cover which I would like to watch um whenever <laughs> book number six was Is This Anything by Jerry Seinfeld um, this is the collection of Jerry's jokes from the 70s until now, and I laughed, of course. What a funny guy. <laughs> Only thing I wish is that there was more pictures. <laughs> Number seven was Hunted by the Sky by Tanoas Bettina. Um, this is about a girl going undercover in the palace to avenge the murder of her parents. And this was a quick-paced magical fantasy with romance. Um, Number eight was Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. This is the modern day retelling of Jack the Ripper. I thought this was like very interesting, a page turner, like easy reading. It's a little bit spooky, has like ghosty goodness um, with romance as well. This is about a girl who moves to London for school and there's a killer going around copycatting the old Jack the Ripper's murders and she helps solve the mystery. Um, this has a sequel that I might read, I'm not sure yet, but I am intrigued by this one's ending though. It like left off on like a cliffhanger. And I've always been like interested in like um, the Jack the Ripper serial killer. <laughs> Book 
number nine was The Witches by Roald Dahl. Um, this is like really silly and fun, like his other stories. This is about a boy trying to stop a group of witches from turning kids into mice. And book number ten was The Lost Princess of Oz by L. Frank Baum. This is book number eleven in the series, so I'm getting through that series of well. Well, there in, in this one there's um fifteen books, I think. Fifteen. In this one, the ruler of Oz, Princess Ozma, is missing, and Dorothy and her friends must search for her all over the land of Oz. And this was fun and whimsical, um, like the other books in the series. So those are the books I read in April. Let me know what you read in April. And I will see you next month.